Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the Tasty Trade Desktop Release Notes. Today we're going to be talking about desktop version 2.50, which is a relatively moderate release introducing a brand new sectors watch list column, as well as some better capital requirements window customization, some improvements to our risk analysis tool, as well as dollar equivalent futures theta on our order tickets. So to get started, let's go ahead and dive into our new watch list columns. If you navigate to the platform's left-hand watch list or central watch list here, this tab right here, if you go to the top right to the settings gear icon, you'll be taken to your watch list column settings. And then once here, you can drag and drop to your displayed or the not displayed section. So we were just talking about our brand new columns, sector and industry. If you scroll down, you can see them here on not displayed drag and drop each of those to the displayed section on the left. And now when we click OK and go back to our watch list, we're going to see the sector and name for each of these companies that we have on our watch list listed here. So now we can either filter by tapping on the top here on sector or industry as well. And we can see all the different industries listed for all the symbols now in the S&P 500. So this allows some better filtering or scanning of symbols for certain trade opportunities. Next, let's dive into our capital requirements window. If we go to the positions tab and then in the top right, click on cap rec. That's going to take us to the capital requirements window. Click on agree here. And now we're taken to our general requirements window here. So off the bat, some of you might see quite a few columns. In this case, I'm seeing requirement, BP usage percent, initial requirement. You know, some of you likely want to customize this or reformat each column uh, to display or not display. You can go back to our settings that we were just in before by again, clicking on that settings gear icon in the top right of our window. And then if we go all the way to position reports here under modules, we're gonna see our cap rec table where we can drag and drop. Maybe we don't wanna see EPR up and down or PNR, Altman, Vega. We can get all that stuff off, maybe put maintenance at the top if we wanted drag buying power usage below, click on okay. And then once we go back into our capital requirements window, we see that all those changes that we just made are applied here. So nice little extra customization for our positions. Additionally, we did add in the ability to see dollar equivalent futures theta when you're setting up an order in our trade tab. So if we set up a trade on ES here, for example purposes, we have one queued up to buy a call here on the 4385 strike. If we look at the left side column here for theta for each of these strikes, we see it's negative 2.439. That's in terms of points for this future. Since S&P futures have a 50X multiplier for that dollar conversion, you will see in our order ticket here below that the theta for this long call here is actually negative $119 or about $120 in theta there, um, or negative theta since we're buying a call. That's because we're taking this number here, multiplying it by 50. Uh, just for example purposes, if we went into MES, which is a tenth the size, or having a multiplier of five, if we go in here, buy the call, we see it negative 2.526. And then we can see that theta here is multiplied this number by five. Now we get the dollar equivalent of $12.63. Next here, if we navigate to our capital requirements window here again, make sure that you select all your positions, checking this checkbox right here. And then going into our risk analysis tool, we can check out some of our new changes here. If we scroll down, checking out some of our positions here to any of the risk arrays that we have an open options position, we can scroll our mouse over the certain risk arrays. So in this case, actually scrolling over what would happen or the theoretical movement of 20% up in dash in its underlying price, what would be the theoretical price for my option at this point, the delta, theta, Rho and Vega as well. You can do this on any of your strikes, just scrolling your mouse over, you're gonna be able to get more information on the theoretical risk or exposure your positions may have based on certain shocks or movements in the underlying price. And that folks wraps up our release notes here for desktop 2.50. Please check out our written release notes linked out in the description below for more details or reach out to us if you have any questions. Have a good one.